Sometimes our lawmakers make decisions that make you go, hmm. Janelle Walton takes a look at Ohio's crazy laws around town. Town leaders in Oxford passed what sounds like some pretty ludicrous laws back in the day. It's illegal to drive around a college town square more than 100 times in a row. Let's take this law on a test drive. Attorney Mark Crumbine has a theory on how this law came to pass. They probably didn't want the kids or young people going around and around making trouble. It's almost a rite of passage for teenage drivers to hop into their cars and drive around a popular spot in town. We used to go to Senior and drive around Frisch's, and we were only allowed to go around five times. Crumbine also points out the old pastime is even part of a song. You can hear Will Smith talking about that in one of his songs. You know, you get to put the top down, go five, ten miles an hour. I've been driving around the square for quite a while now. 39, 72, 81. While I wait to see if any cops show up, let me tell you about another law you may be surprised ever made it onto the books. Now, George here, he's a fish expert here at Jack's Pet Shop. We wanted to find out about this crazy law we've heard about. Getting a fish drunk. Is this really possible? Uh, absolutely. George says they haven't tested it out, so how can you tell if a fish is drunk? Is it in their swimming technique? Rather than a relaxed pattern, probably just uh, into the glass, all over through the tank, into the ornaments, hard to say. So instead of maybe kind of doing this, it's like... Yes, a little wobbly. Here's another law that may make you go, hmm. It was once illegal for a woman to undress in front of a man's picture. So is that why we get the feeling a portrait is staring at us? Is he waiting for a show? We know, we can't see someone getting arrested for that either. 101, and so far, no lights or sirens. My test drive around the Oxford Square didn't end in a ticket or an arrest. Good thing someone else thought these laws were ludicrous too. For The List, I'm Janelle Walton.